Somebody needs to be held accountable for it, for the pain and suffering. An Odessa woman has lived with a recalled mesh implant for seven years and a clerical error is preventing her from having it removed. This woman's mesh implant is part of a nationwide recall on transvaginal meshes. The FDA issued the recall in 2012 after women reported post-surgery complications ranging from severe bleeding and infection to reports of synthetic mesh cutting through the vaginal walls and eroding into nearby organs. Problems with the mesh led to thousands of lawsuits filed against manufacturers and some of the companies withdrew their products from the market or issued voluntary recalls. Like we mentioned before, a lack of proper paperwork is preventing one Odessa woman from filing a lawsuit or even having her mesh implant removed. As CBS 7's Tatum Gwen found out, the woman doesn't even know what company made that implant that's inside of her body. Tatum, does this woman have any options? Well, Jay, at this point, the only option Paula Munoz has would be to pay for a surgery to have the mesh removed herself. Paula Munoz never thought a simple chore like washing the dishes would be so taxing. On a daily basis, I feel like I have the flu. My body hurts, my joints hurt, but I feel like I have sandpaper in my stomach. When was the last time you felt good? The last time I felt good was probably maybe seven years ago, seven years ago. Back in 2006, she went to the hospital for a basic procedure, but life since then has been anything but basic. Two weeks later, I had to go back into the hospital, I had an abscess in my abdomen. Um, my body was already rejecting the mesh. Adding insult to injury, a clerical error has prevented Munoz from restitution and even removal. Been through four different attorneys and they actually cannot help me because there's not any information that they can get from the hospital of the manufacturer or the mesh. Leaving Munoz with stacks of paperwork and nothing but time on her hands waiting to get well. I can't do anything for myself anymore and it's I'm 40 years old and I have a lot of life to to look forward to. I, I need to have surgery to have it taken out before any further damage is, is done to me. Somebody should be held responsible. And if that never happens, then that's fine, but I just want to go on with my life. I want to get better. Munoz is getting that help that she needs. A doctor has offered to remove the mesh free of charge. All she would have to pay is the hospital fee. She started a GoFundMe page to raise money for her procedure. If you'd like to help, you can visit our website, CBS7.com. Live in the studio, I'm Tatum Gwynn, CBS7 News.